All right, the first thing you want to do is open up Canva on whatever device you're using. And then the right hand corner, hit create a design. And then you're going to type out YouTube intro. And you will click here and this will open up a blank template for you to go ahead and get started on your intro. And it just makes it easier for you to have the dimensions ready to go. But I already have my template open. So as you can see here, I just added like my fonts and the elements that I'll be using in this tutorial and as well as the animations. Just so these are kind of like my notes and I know I don't miss out on anything in this tutorial here. So now I'm just gonna hit edit a page because we're gonna start building our intro. All right, so now I'm gonna add this background color here, which is this tan color right here. I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and I'm gonna start typing out my initials in all caps. Let's make this a little smaller because once I change the font, it'll get a lot bigger, will look a lot bigger anyway. So now I'm going to change the font to Tan Songbird. Make this a little smaller. Make sure it's centered like so. And I'm going to go to FX and hit Hollow. I'm going to change the color to this burgundy color. Just like that. I'm going to hit Animate. And we're going to make this animation neon. And we're going to change it to both. Just like that. And then I'm going to actually trim down this slide from 5 seconds to 1.8 seconds. So just click on the slide at the bottom. Go up here to the clock. And I'm just going to type in 1.8. We don't need this part of the intro to be that big or to be that long. So 1.8 and now I am going to add in our cursor. So just search cursor under elements and under graphics hit see all and choose whatever one you want. I'm just going with this really simple one here. And I'm just going to place it centered like kind of on a letter a little bit, like halfway on the letter, just like that. And I'm gonna change the color to red. So we have that. Now I'm going to click on our cursor again, hit these three dots, it shows timing, and I'm just gonna trim this down some. So. Let's start at the beginning. Pull it in. Okay. And you just want to play around with this part just to see how it looks because we want to give it the illusion that we're clicking on our font and it's going on to the next slide. So let me just see how that looks. Okay, and that's how it should look. I'm good with that. You can make this longer, um, shorter, it's up to you. Just however you want it to look. So now with our um, cursor, I'm just gonna click on it again, go to animate, and I'm just gonna add baseline. So, and I'm gonna hit on enter. And again, I'm just going to play it to make sure I like the way that it looks. Okay, so I'm good with that. And now for this page, we're going to duplicate it. So just click on your, your slide at the bottom. Hit the right hand side of your keyboard and hit duplicate page. So now with this slide, we are going to remove the hollow effect. So hit FX, hit none. And then we're gonna change the color of our um, 
um, cursor to black. So really simple, just like that. But I am going to change the animation to the font. So click on the font, hit um, where you see the previous animation, and we're going to change this to burst. But this time we're going to put one exit. And again, I always like to check my work as I'm going along, just to make sure that everything looks good. All right, so I'm happy with that. And we're going to move on to our third page. A brief intermission, then we will get right back into the tutorial. So starting now, I have YouTube subscriptions for $2.99 a month. Any tutorials I post for YouTube intros and outros using Canva, I will now be posting the template link for my paid subscribers to customize for themselves. So this video that you see today will be the first link included, but to make this month extra special, I will also add two other template links I previously shown tutorials for on my channel. So that's three template links you will be receiving this month for just $2.99. Just to reiterate, every time I post a brand new YouTube tutorial, to my channel for intros and outros specifically, my paid subscribers will automatically receive the template link to customize for your own channels. This is just my way of giving you all something a little extra. So anytime that you see me posting a tutorial for a template and you're like, oh, I want that link for so i can add it for my own youtube channel just know that when you subscribe that link will be there for you to have access to for as long as you need it as long as you're a subscriber um so yeah i really hope you all like this new addition to my channel this is really going to help me um spend more time with making sure that i'm consistent and providing you all with more content each month because now I have my paid subscribers to hold me to making sure that I am giving them their money's worth all right so we're just going to click the plus sign down here to add a blank page so now I'm going to type out my name in all caps or my channel name like so I'm going to make this about 53 because once you change the font to this tan silver font, it gets bigger. So I'm good with that. And I like to make sure it's centered across. All right. But now we're going to change the color to the background color. Don't worry. We're going to fix this by going to effects and hitting left. So as you can see, it gives that embossed effect um, and now it's now transparent and you can see it. I'm going to decrease the lift a little bit, just a little bit, just like that. And now we're going to add on, well first let's add our animation. So hit your text, go to animate, go to wipe. So we're going to switch this towards, towards going towards the left and I'll just keep it on enter just like that or you can do both it doesn't matter so now we're going to add our other text so hitting T on my keyboard I'm going to type in my name again but I'm just going to do it in all lowercase this time just because I think it looks better when you're using cursive Now this font, you want to make it bigger than the font behind it because once you make it cursive, it tends to shrink and look smaller. And you really want this font to stand out. So now I'm going to switch this to Malibu Ring. This font here. This is one of my favorite Canva fonts and it is a free font. I think I'm going to still make it a little bit bigger because I really want it to just stand out. All right, now we're going to change the color to our burgundy. 
just like that. Make sure that it's positioned in the center. So you want to hit position and you want to make sure center is not highlighted. Same with the text in the back. All right, so now we're going to add our animation to this one. So hit your text, go to animate, and we're going to hit wipe again, but we're going to keep it in this direction. So our back text is going towards the left and the text on top is going towards the right. And I'm just going to keep it on enter, just like that. And now we're going to add in our social media handles. So go to elements, under shapes, you want to get this rounded square here. And of course, we want to make this a lot smaller. Like that, I'm going to make it a little longer. And we're going to position this in the center. This is going to help guide us when we do our other two on the opposite side. Change this color to red. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Shift. You can um, So I'm just going to place this here. What I was going to say is you can go to elements and you can search for whatever social media icon you want. So whether it's Instagram, TikTok, and you can look for the icons that you want. But since I already had them on my original, um, I'm not going to bother to search because that part can be a little tedious when you're looking for the specific ones that you really like. Anyway, so I'm going to just duplicate the shape because now we have it to the size that we want. Go to position, hit to back so we can see our text. Because your text will be the same color as your background. Just like that. Alright, um... So now what we're going to do is we are going to just duplicate the rest of this. So just play around with your placement. So I'm just going to duplicate my name again. Hit copy, paste, or you can just hit duplicate, sorry. And then I'm just going to go back to the original and get the Instagram icon. Like I said, you can search it under elements. And you can play around with how you want it to look and how you big or how small you want this to look. Now I'm gonna duplicate our oval again. So I'll just click on the red oval and hit duplicate and make sure it's spaced evenly. So when those numbers pop up in between, it helps guide you on how it's spaced. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna and now I'm going to copy my TikTok logo. Now, for the TikTok logo, I cannot for the life of me find this TikTok logo anywhere in Canva anymore. But I had this saved because I use it a lot for other templates and things like that. So I didn't need to like search for it but when I was making this template for you all I wanted to be able to show you like exactly where to find it but I cannot find it so I'm not sure if it's available on Canva anymore but what you can do is just go to elements and search TikTok and you can look through any of these logos and find the one that you want, or you can always go to Google and copy and paste and the um the logo that you want. It just might cause difficulty with the colors. So, but yeah, I cannot find this T anywhere on TikTok. Even when I click the information here, this is what it tells you to search. You guys can try to search 
this or use any of these keywords here um, to find it. And you may be able to find it, but I just couldn't find it while I was searching for it. So, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why they took that off of there. But it's kind of annoying. Because I don't really like none of these options for the TikTok logo. So, and if you don't as well, I just suggest, like, just typing out, um... Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, just typing out your um, social media sites with a, like a semicolon next to it and then adding your user handle. That might look better if you don't find the ones that you want. So that's what I did. And lastly, we are just going to click on our oval shapes, just the oval shapes. So I'm just going to highlight all of them by pressing shift and holding it down and clicking on all three of my ovals. So as you can see, they're all three highlighted. Now I'm going to go to animate and hit baseline. And I'm going to keep it on these normal settings. Now I didn't add any animation towards the text because it's the same color as the background, so you can't see it anyway until the red ovals pop up behind them. So I hope this was a really like cool, little, quick, simple intro for you all. I hope you liked it. This was way more simple than the tutorials that I've shown on my channel before, but I'm trying to get more into text-based intros to bring to this channel to show you all who don't have like a lot of photos or photos that you want to use at all for your um channels so i will have another text-based intro coming very very soon um that one will be a little bit more um it'll be a little bit more to it and not just as simple and plain as this one but for my minimalistic girlies, I wanted to show you all just a very simple but cute intro. So I hope you all like this tutorial. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back soon. Bye.